Hello, my name is James Kimmery. I'm the Director of Marketing at National Instruments, and I'm here at Mobile World Congress. I'd like to show you a, d a demonstration that we have planned today of a 5G millimeter wave system. And what we have is we have two PXI systems, one that's emulating the E-Node-B, and one that's emulating uh, the UE, or the, the user equipment. And what's uh, challenging for a millimeter wave system is because of the, the spectrum that's available, it's, it's bandwidth. And being able to acquire the RF spectrum and process, it, process that bandwidth real time. And so in this system we have uh, the baseband of a millimeter wave system. We have several FlexRio FPGAs that are working in parallel to be able to process that one gigahertz of bandwidth. And so we have both the uh, UE, UE as well as the EWB. And you can see here uh, from our screen that we are indeed getting one gigahertz of bandwidth real time. And that's our millimeter wave demonstration. You can also see this equipment being used at the Nokia, Nokia booth. <clears throat> I'd like to show you another demonstration of uh, 5G technology. <clears throat> One of the 5G vectors that we've been working with researchers on are 5G waveforms. <clears throat> and what we have here today, we have two USRP RIOs, which are software-defined radios, uh, connected to two different computers underneath here. And we're showing our LiveView communication system design suite. And that forms the basis of a LTE system. With LiveView communication systems design, we actually have an LTE framework. And what a researcher has done here, <coughs> as you can see, uh, is actually added a GFDM component, which is general frequency division multiplexing component uh, to the LTE system. So, <coughs> as I mentioned, we started with LTE. And you can see here, video is being transferred transfer back and forth. And we've nulled out some of the subcarriers and transposed a GFDM waveform on top of it. And by doing that, you can see that the, the transmission gets along, uh, <coughs> is uh, transmitted very effectively. And, and this type of scheme is very important because, or potentially can be important, because it allows a number of users to be able to share the spectrum.